Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we look at the Y Auction House plugin. So this is a really cool plugin which allows your players to auction off items they don't want to make a little bit of extra cash. And you can configure things such as paying taxes and how the auction actually works. And there's a handy GUI which makes it very simple to use. So let's just jump into it. If you do forward slash AH, that's the main command, that's going to bring up the auction house GUI. Now down at the bottom, it's going to show all the different categories, including my listings down there. And what we can do is click my listings and you can see I have four items for sale currently. And it's going to show the price and the time left. So you can see I've set different amounts for all of those. And then if you were after something in particular, you could go into one of these categories and see if they have an item for sale that you want to buy. So if we do forward slash AH help, that's going to show you all the commands. So if we do forward slash AH, there's two ways of doing this. We can do the sell command. So let's list these for $99 and the duration is going to be two hours, for example. Hit enter and that's going to list my 64 diamonds for two hours and if we go into my listings you can see they are here and the time is going to start counting down now the other way is using the list command so ah list and then this is going to be you know, 250 dollars and the count is going to be four and that is one way to create an admin listing so there's a few other useful commands we could do the ah search command and if we search for diamond for example it will show all the results for anything that has diamond in its name. So we could buy all of this if we wanted. We can do the ah return command. So if a listing has expired, it would be returned to your inventory. Now we can also do the ah blacklist command. So you could add a particular player, maybe Steve to this list, and they will no longer be able to purchase things. And then another admin command is the clear command. So this will clear any expired auctions as well. So that's how it works in game. Let's head over to the config file and see what can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. You can see there's a config and a transactions log. So in here, this is going to just list everything that's happened. So you can see I have listed various things. And then if we go into the config, this is where we can customize a few things. So we've got the prefix up at the top, flat fee. So do you want it to cost players to list something? Or do you want a percentage fee? Uh, depending on how much they sell it for and then you've got the max fee so they don't get charged out the wazoo the min and max price you can change that and then you can even have a tax when it sells so five percent up to a hundred dollars and then a cooldown between listing items so 300 seconds so people aren't just spamming you know cobblestone and whatnot and then we have the sort by so do you want it to be sorted by chronological order so new items uh, or by price and then world settings you can add blacklists and allow worlds down here if you want you know probably don't want it on creative but you probably do want it on factions or survival for example and here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.21 it was recently uploaded on the 9th of march and you can see down here we've got all the useful commands and then the permissions but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time